In recent conversations with the market, I have come across hydraulic oil at $1.50 a litre. Now, keep in mind that this is Australian dollars, but $1.50 a litre is a little bit strange because I filled up my car with diesel the other day and I paid $1.80 a litre. So how can it be that hydraulic oil can be cheaper than fuel? We're told that lubricants are you know, more sophisticated products that require additives and blending, quality control. So that got me thinking, is it possible to actually manufacture hydraulic oil for that cheap? Or is there something else going on? Now, to address this, I want to do a little bit of research, right? Um, I've got some ideas on basically input costs for the, the cost of producing hydraulic oil. Um, and I know roughly what the prices are, but we also want to do a bit of research to check. Okay, so what are our input costs? So first of all, we've got the actual cost of the base oil, right? We have, there's import costs as well. So here there's kind of like a duty or a tariff uh, when you bring oil into the country. We've got also packaging costs. Right. And in this instance, we'll go with the price of an IBC, right? Because that is the most cost effective. So we're looking at bringing the cost down as much as possible. So can we hit that $1.50 mark? So base oil, you've got import costs, you've got packing costs. There's also blending costs. They're a little bit more nebulous. You've got your additive costs, right? That you've got to put in uh, as well. Um, there's going to be a certain amount of energy costs that are involved in blending. We've also got shipping costs, right? So uh, here, uh, pretty much all the base oil comes from the Asia region, right? Uh, so it might be Singapore or China or something like that. Um, what else do we have? Now, I've got some ideas on roughly how much this is. So for base oil, um, pretty much the cheapest that I have seen is about $700 per tonne, right? So $700 US dollars a tonne, that's about 1000 Australian dollars per metric tonne. Uh, on import costs. So we have a levy here, which is, sorry, it's uh, 14.2 cents per liter, right? If you use a re-refined base oil, you actually get a credit. Re-refined tends to be a bit more expensive. So I'm going to assume a very, very cheap base oil that's going to be imported. Uh, for packing costs, the, basically a recycled or a, a cleaned and reused IBC, goes for about $160 each, right? So you're adding effectively 16 cents a liter to the cost of the product. Blending, I don't really know that, so I'm gonna do a little bit of research to find the cost of that. I'm gonna assume that the cost of additive is pretty minimal. So maybe around kind of six cents per liter, it's gonna to add to the cost of the product. Energy, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna completely ignore. And then shipping, uh, I'm gonna assume it's about, oh, hang on. This is six cents per liter. And for shipping purposes, I'm gonna say about 10 cents per liter to the cost of the product. Now, these are all assumptions, right? So we're gonna go over and use AI. I know AI is not the best, but at least let's see if we can confirm that the pricing that I've seen in the market is pretty competitive, right? And let's see if we can actually make a product for $1.50 a liter. All right, so I've got Gemini open. Uh, let's kind of test some of our assumptions, right? So um, let's say for example. All right, so my search term was basically, can you please go into the internet, search all possible sources and get the lowest possible base oil price for group one as well as group two, which is typically what we're gonna be using for low cost hydraulic oils. Um, so this is indicating, hey, in December, 2025, it's kind of a buyer's market because prices have been trending downwards. And the lowest uh, price that we could find is for solvent neutral 150. So that's uh, 680 to 720 US dollars per metric ton. Uh, interestingly, that's right around that $700 uh, mark. That's in, in US dollars. So, so far we are kind of bang on the money. So let's say I'm gonna be the most favorable possible. And I'm gonna say that that is what 680 uh, US dollars per metric ton because that's the lowest price that we could find and that would apply for group one and then group two you're looking more into the 700 so let's be as as kind as possible and assume the lowest price possible so 680 US dollars a ton okay this is awesome so it's given us a bunch of different pricing on packaging options uh, here for an IBC um, it's saying that about sort of for a reconditioned IBC you're looking at the low end remember we're always looking at the low end the 90 US dollars um, so let's say this is going to be $1.90 USD uh, per 
thousand liters. Okay, so we've got that price now. So this is in US dollars, this is in US dollars, this is in uh, Australian cents. All right, now let's say, let's assume um, we're gonna wanna get additive costs, right? So I'm gonna assume that the additive makes up about 1% of the formulation. That's probably a little under, uh, but again, we're, we're trying to get the lowest possible estimate. So let's assume 1% by volume, and let's see what kind of uh, additive pack costs we can get. All right, so again, we've got some pricing. This time I'm overestimating by a little bit. So it's actually going to be about 2.6. Now this is in USD, right? So we're gonna to have to do a conversion into Australian dollars, but at least it's given us some pricing. And the final bit uh, to, to put together is shipping costs, right? So I'm gonna ignore blending and energy for the moment. So let's take a look at some shipping costs. I'm gonna be generous and say that we're only shipping from Singapore to Perth. Right, so for the purposes of Australian manufacturing, that is the shortest distance possible, even though there's not that many blend facilities in Perth and most of the blending is occurring on the East Coast. But again, I'm trying to try to underestimate where all possible. So let's have a look. Great, so now we've got some options and it's basically saying that shipping by flexi bag is gonna be the cheapest uh, option possible. So for anyone who doesn't know, Flexi bag is literally like a flexible bag that you can put inside of a 20 foot container. You fill it up with liquid and then you're gonna to have to pump it out at the end. So we're assuming that we're bringing in bulk base oil from Singapore to Perth. And the price of that has been uh, about 5.8 cents. So I'm gonna adjust this. This is 5.8 cents per liter, but keeping in mind that this is in US dollars. All right, so now it's time to do some stuff. First of all, we're gonna get a US dollar to Australian dollar calculator out. All right, so first up, let's go 680. Great, now we've got everything in Australian dollars. The next thing that we need to do is we need to convert the base oil price from metric tons into liters. Keep in mind that the rough density is about 0.88 for mineral oils as well as PAO synthetics. There is a little bit based on the viscosity grade, but let's make an assumption here, uh, 0.88. Right, so for a metric ton, which means that the price in, okay, and now let's convert everything into cents per liter. All right, so far we've landed at a cost of a dollar 31 per liter. Remember, we are using the cheapest possible additives, the cheapest possible base oils. We're assuming the, the, the smallest distance uh, worth of shipping. Things that we have not included, we've not included the energy price. We've not included the cost of blending. We've not included the cost of logistics of, let's say, for example, pumping out from the flexi bags from shipping and taking it to a warehouse. So we're not including any, we're not including personnel charges. We're not there's there's so much that we are not including in this price. And we're not including the fact that they need to make money. And in my experience, if you're only running a profit margin of like 10%, you are running incredibly lean. Even with just a 10% margin on this price, which doesn't include the total cost, you are already running into significant hurdles into trying to get hydraulic oil to a dollar fifty per liter. Other things that we're not including is the fact that it's not just a single type of base oil that needs to go into a hydraulic oil. You're generally having to blend at least two different types in order to get the viscosity that you require. So I said 32, 46, 68. Base oils don't come in those viscosity grades. They come in commodity grades and you've got to blend them together. So can you make hydraulic oil for a dollar fifty Australian a litre? Mm, this analysis would suggest no. So if you're seeing product in the market for like a dollar forty five or a dollar fifty per litre, it is strongly, strongly indicative that there is something else going on here. 